What's up guys, welcome back. I'm Rob, the UK Vape Star, and today we're taking a look at the Arc Fox kit from Smock. So this is another dual 18650 mod from Smock that has the TFV18 tank sitting on top. And I like to think of this kit, or this mod specifically, it has Smock up front, and it has Geek Vape in back. Just because the back really looks like their Aegis range, especially with the leather and also just the in general look. And then up front we have the smock screen, we have the smock sort of interface with the bar as the fire button. So it has very much all the smock features at the front, but then it has the Geek Vape style at the back, which is really interesting. And this bad boy is splash proof, it's um, shock proof, it's also dust proof. It's got all of those protections with it. So a really interesting kit. Let's not waste any more time. Let's jump into the unboxing to show you guys every single thing you get when you buy this from new. So here's the packaging to the Smock Arc Fox kit. And I have mine in Prism Gunmetal. And inside, of course, you get the mod. You get a user manual. You get a battery safety card. You get a warranty card. You get a Type-C charging cable. You get a baggie of extra O-rings. You also get the TFV-18 tank. You also get some bubble glass for the tank. And you also get a spare dual 0.15 ohm coil. So here's a close look at the tank, which is the TFV-18. We're going to start this review at the top and work way down. I just wanted to quickly mention that this is a 26.5 millimeter tank at the base, but it does go up to about a 31, maybe even 32 at the bubble glass. So at the top, we have this removable top cap, and this is the only top cap you can use with this tank. It's held together by two O-rings. It's a top filling device, so all you need to do is find this button, push in and push to the side. It reveals this filling hole, which is plenty big enough for all your bottles. Close this bad boy up. And this fills the capacity, which is 7.5 mils, which is absolutely huge. You also get a pre-installed coil, which is a 0.33 ohm, which is a single mesh coil. At the bottom here, we have adjustable airflow, which we can have fully open, fully closed off, and anything we adjust on one side is going to be mimicked on the other two sides because there's three sides altogether. And then finally, at the bottom, we have our 510 connection pin, which does protrude, but only just. So here is a close look at the Arc Fox mod. We're going to start this review at the top and work way down. So starting at the top, we have this gold-plated spring-loaded 510 connection, which sits in the middle of the mod, and the widest tanks you can fit on, including in the metal area, is about 27 millimeter. But if you include the rubber on the sides, you can go up to 30 millimeter without any overhang, which is quite nice. Moving further down, this entire bar is the fire bar, which is always good. We have this Type-C charging port on the side here, which has, of course, got this sealant all the way around to make it waterproof because this mod is waterproof, dustproof, and also shockproof, and you can tell that with the rubber all the way around the mod. We, have, of course, have the up and down buttons. We have the screen. I'll go through this quickly in one second. We have this leather backing, which reminds me a lot of Geek Vape. Let me know if you think I'm wrong, but this definitely looks a little bit like Geek Vape from the back, and we have Smock from the front. Of course, on this side, it will say Arc Wolf, designed by Smock. At the bottom, we have our battery door. All you need to do is push this to the side down, and then just flip it open like so. It can be a little bit fiddly. We have plus, minus, plus, minus, battery A and B. As easy as that, push that back together, and that's pretty much the mod. And now a quick look at the screen and the functions. To turn this guy on and off, it's simply five clicks of the fire bar. So one, two, three, four, five. It'll say Arc Fox. And then we're in. And as you can see, we're at five watts, but it goes all the way up to 230 watts. It says the percentage of each battery, what mode we're in, the voltage, the puffer counter, the ohmage, and also, of course, the timer. If we press three clicks, one, two, three, we're in the mode and we can go up and change all the different modes from temperature control, temperature control to power. If we select power, we also can change the image, the puffer counter to reset it and we're back to power. If we leave it, it will automatically fix or we can press and hold to fix it. But of course, in this case, it will say that it's not reading a coil. If we press up, it goes up in one increments and this goes all the way up to, like I mentioned, 230 watts and it scrolls pretty damn fast. And now guys, vape time. So in the kit, you're given two coils. Pre-installed is a 0.33 ohm single mesh coil, and the spare one is a dual mesh coil. So I've got the single mesh coil installed right now. It reads at 0.31, so there, thereabouts. I've got out 100 watts. This bad boy does take a lot of power, but it is a big old coil, as you can see. I've got the airflow fully open as well, so let's give it a vape and see what we get. Oh, 
Okay, so firstly, flavor. Flavor from the single coil and also the dual coil is just immense. As you can imagine with 100 watts running through this coil, there's a lot of flavor, a lot of vapor. This is a ch cloud chucking machine. However, airflow, let's do it close to the mic so you guys can hear how turbulent or noisy it might be. It is a little turbulent and it is quite noisy. Let's restrict it down to about halfway. It's actually quite a bit smoother and not as noisy. Let's just do it to a sliver. A lot smoother and a lot less noise. So this basically does exactly what it says on the tin. It's got three slots for airflow, which are really big because you need a lot of airflow for these coils, especially when you're running 100 watts, 120 watts. It needs a lot of power, a lot of airflow, and in conjunction with that, it provides a lot of flavor and a lot of clouds. Of course, it will just run through juice, as you can imagine. But if you guys are a cloud chucking machine chasing guy, and you just love flavor and don't care how you get it, these coils are for you because the flavor is outstanding, the clouds is outstanding, but it is a little much for some people. And now I just wanted to say a few thank yous, a massive thank you to Smock for not only sending me one, but sending me two free for the purpose of review. And if you guys need any more details on this kit, check the description down below. And of course, I want to say a massive thank you to my patrons for supporting me and this channel. You guys get a shout out at the beginning of the video. You also get exclusive goodies and also some freebies throughout the year. If you guys are interested in helping me by also becoming a patron, there's a link to that down below. And also I want to say a massive thank you to my YouTube members for also supporting me you guys get exclusive little goodies like icons emojis you also get an extra marble in the marble race if you guys don't know what that is check out my live streams on Tuesdays at 7 p.m. It's a good laugh. But anyways, massive thank you to all my supporters. And if you want to become a patron, there's a link down below. And if you want to become a YouTube member, there's a join button down below. And finally, guys, my final thoughts on the Arc Fox kit. For a dual 18650 battery mod, it fits really well on the hand, especially if you are right-handed. I think it also looks pretty damn good as well. It comes with a tried and tested tank, the TFV-18, which has great flavor and great clouds. And those two areas specifically, it excels in. So if you are looking for that this is a great tank i'm not a massive fan of the looks of the tank it's quite a dated sort of look of tank but it does the job so what more can you say for the mod it is a little bit disappointing that it's very very similar to a lot of other smock mods out there you know you can tell this is a smock mod what i will say is i do like the back of it it is very geek vape-esque but that's not necessarily a bad thing because i do like the look of it not necessarily a massive fan of the branding, this new like trend of branding being everywhere around, especially how big and shiny it is. I like a little bit more of a subtle branding. So with this, a little bit of let down on that sort of regards, but all round, it fits really well nice in the hand. We have the long big fire button, so very easy to fire, super responsive. We also have the tank, like I mentioned, it's tried, it's tested, it works really, really well. Just all round, there's nothing mind blowing about it, but I do like the improvements with the screen and the functions. By that I mean, well, when I say functions, I just mean the chipset in general, because previous models I've been testing, the battery life indicator hasn't always been accurate. Let's say that. It would always have battery A and battery B. Battery A would always have a different percentage to battery B, even though if I put it in any other mod or on my charger, they would be identical. Now, they both say 77%. So finally, they fixed that software. They have made sure that it actually reads more accurately, which I absolutely love. So as a big improvement, especially for safety and security, and just ease of mind in general, that the battery life indicator reads it correctly. So that's absolutely fantastic. And it, like I said, from Smock, we know that it's punchy, it's responsive, it does the job. It works really, really well with the tank, as you can imagine. And all round, it's just a solid device. And you have that extra security of it being waterproof or waterproof-esque shockproof and also dustproof all of that together it makes for a really good mod which i think re looks really good performs really well so it just ticks most of the boxes but i'd love to know what you guys think of this kit down below in the comment section do you like it do you not like it do you think they should have done more do you think they should have gone back to one of their older devices and remodeled it after that let me know all your thoughts down below in the comment section don't forget to like and share this video subscribe if you haven't done so already and i'll see you guys next time